Hello everyone, welcome to Spinnaker Summit. Today, I will walk you through continuous deployment to Kubernetes using Spinnaker, Helm, and AWS at PlayStation. I am Bhavesh Bhavsar. Here is a little bit introduction about myself. I am senior DevOps engineer at Sony PlayStation. I am mainly involved with various operations, including continuous integration, continuous delivery, security, storage, and many more. Before we go ahead, I would like to introduce with some challenges that we face and we would like to solve. These are more of the use case that we try to cover uh, during doing a continuous deployment on Kubernetes. When we put everything together, Spinnaker, Kubernetes, a Docker registry, a Helm, there will be unique challenges we face. How to do a deployment, how to do a continuous deployment, and how to use all these tools available to make it a better a deployment strategy. So first of all, we would like to have a deployment event occur in a response to a GitHub commit. Achieve deployment as soon as new Docker image is available. Code should get deployed and tested on a test environment and get a feedback. Feedback could be an automated feedback loop to show the code quality. Have some getting mechanism for a production environment. Of course, we do not want to have a production environment deployed without anybody knowing. And also have a deploy various Kubernetes object altogether. Means we would like to use a certain mechanism where we can deploy all the Kubernetes object. For example, service account, deployment, service, network policy, pod disruption budget, all the Kubernetes kinds are deploying together. Now let's look into the overview of the presentation. We will go over the flow from code check-in to code deploy and what are the best practices around them. It all starts from GitHub commit. When the commit in a GitHub happens, we will see what are the responses and triggers happens between check-in to the deploy. When the webhook triggers, compile the code create new Docker image and push that tag to a Docker registry. There will be an automated process where this thing happens. Creation of deployable artifact in a Docker registry will trigger a deployment of that artifact. That's the, that's the deployment. Trigger Spinnaker pipeline in a response to the new Docker image. We will be using Helm 3 in the blend as rendering engine for deployment. Helm 3 will be used in the Spinnaker pipeline. Helm 3 is a package manager for Kubernetes. It can help us to deploy a multiple objects of Kubernetes altogether, and we can track them altogether. We can control version control them altogether. So here on this slide, we have a developer who is writing a code and making the checking to a GitHub. GitHub is a version control tool. It is widely accepted in the market and it can also do code management. Here we have a webhook. Now when a code commit happens on the GitHub, GitHub has a nice mechanism where webhook can be triggered. Webhook can be triggered on various different events that are happening in the GitHub. It could be a commit could be a PR, could be a merge, and many more. As a result of a webhook trigger, there will be a downstream Jenkins job listening on this webhook. When the webhook triggers, Jenkins job will receive it, and it will start a particular job. There will be a many stages in a Jenkins job. Jenkins is a continuous integration tool. It is widely accepted in the market, and in the next slide, we will see the various steps that Jenkins goes through and what happens in the pipeline. So when the Jenkins job triggers in a response to a webhook from the GitHub, Jenkins will compile the code, build a Docker image. And then in another step of the same pipeline, Jenkins will push that Docker image 
to a Docker registry. In this example, we are using AWS ECR, which is an AWS service for Elastic Container Registry. Output of Jenkins job is a Docker image with a unique tag, and Jenkins is pushing that image to a Docker registry. Now, we have deployable artifact ready in our Docker registry. We would like that artifact to get deployed, but again, we have event occur here that we push a new unique Docker tag in the registry, and we would like the, the tag to trigger an event. That event will be a deploy event through a Spinnaker pipeline. So we will see that in the next slide. So here, Spinnaker pipeline will trigger in a response to a new Docker image tag, which is a unique tag in a Docker registry, here AWS ECR registry. So while we are configuring Spinnaker, we will be configuring a Docker registry, which registry to listen to. When it is listening to a registry and there will be a new tag in a particular repository, there is a capacity of Spinnaker to listen to the trigger and start a deploy job. We will see what are the steps and stages involved in this deploy in the next slide. So here are the details about Spinnaker pipeline. First step is a configuration, which includes automated trigger for Docker registry. The action here happens is we set up a pipeline trigger for a new tag in ECR. To this thing to happen, we need to have a Docker registry to be configured in Spinnaker. While we are installing and configuring Spinnaker, either Halyard or using operators or using Clit. And when we have configured Docker registry, we can configure a trigger in a pipeline for the Spinnaker. Spinnaker can listen to that Docker registry, a particular repo for a new tag. And there is a various method to apply on a Spinnaker pipeline on which tag to listen to. If we don't specify any particular tag, Spinnaker pipeline can trigger on any unique tag. Next step in the same pipeline will be a bake manifest. Here, we want to bake manifest, which could be a deployable manifest using a Helm 3 rendering engine. Again, Helm 3 is a package manager that helps us to deploy artifacts on Kubernetes cluster. And by using a Helm 3, we can deploy many Kubernetes objects, kinds including service account, deployment, service, network policy, pod disruption budget, and many more. So by using this bake manifest, we will have Helm template, and we will combine it with the required and override artifact. This stage will produce a deployable artifact using a Helm chart. Helm chart is coming from Helm repository. So that will be also a part of configuration. When we configure the pipeline, we will have a Helm repository. And that configuration is done while installing and configuring Spinnaker. So when we are installing and configuring Spinnaker, we are doing multiple things. We are configuring Docker registry. We are configuring Helm registry. So we can use all of them here in the pipeline. So now the Helm chart came from the Helm repository. We have a manifest that can be coming from GitHub repository. And we can use those manifests as values.yaml file for the Helm, and we can overwrite them. Now this override values.yaml file could have different values as per your environment. You may have a various environment, test environment, staging environment, production environment, and your values.yaml can contain the different values as per the environment. So now the output of this stage bake manifest will be a compiled artifact by combining the chart which came from Helm repository and the values which is base64 encoded output. We can name that output and we can use it in a further next step. Next stage is a manual judgment. Manual judgment is an important step where we can get the deployment to a particular environment. Spinnaker offers capacity where we can build a pipeline and we could have a various environment 
be addressed in that pipeline where the deployment can be occurred. Deployment can be clubbed together once the deploy happen in a particular environment, uh, do some test and then roll out the deployment to the next environment, which could be a production environment. And it is important to put a manual judgment step. We can explicitly say yes or no as our judgment for the deployment to go further. We will have a manual judgment step with production environment. Spinnaker also offers a capacity for the notification. When we are at the manual judgment step, Spinnaker can notify on a various notification system like over the email or a Slack and many more where user gets notified about this stage is waiting for an answer. When the user goes and it does a manual judgment, let's say yes, the deployment will go further. And if it says no, the deployment will stop over there. Next stage is a deploy manifest. Here, actual deployment of our Kubernetes to our Kubernetes cluster will happen as per bake manifest received from the bake stage. We seen bake stage has produced base64 encoded artifact, which is Kubernetes deployable artifact, and we have named it as per. In deploy stage, we can mention which cluster we would like to address this artifact to go with. In the bake stage, we also seen we have used override with the values.yaml file and we have provided various values as per our environment. Consider it is a production environment and we have provided all the values that we would like to use in the production environment and for the chart of the Helm chart. So we can say go to the production environment as per the deployment manifest stage and use that bake manifest and then Spinnaker when the pipeline executes will do deployment of that. And as it is a Helm chart, it will deploy a various Kubernetes objects. Now here, a little bit important tip, tip about Helm chart to work with the new tag. So as mentioned before, Helm can deploy various Kubernetes objects. And here we are going to look into a particular a deployment object. So our main focus is to deploy a unique tag that has been generated in a, in a response to an event that happened in GitHub. So we have a unique tag. How are we going to use this unique tag in the Helm chart and deploy through Spinnaker pipeline? So in the deployment chart for the Helm, leave the image tag field empty. The field name is deployment spec template spec containers image usually the value of this field is uh, base url for docker registry slash image repo colon tag by not providing that we are telling spinnaker to fill the place by the trigger value it receives so as we seen in a previous step in the configuration of the pipeline we use a trigger from ECR, which is a Docker registry. So whatever the value is coming as a tag from the trigger, Spinnaker, while it is baking a manifest using Helm chart and override value, will place that value here. So if you do not leave this field empty, Spinnaker will trigger the pipeline as per the trigger occurs, but there will be no new deployment because the value is already been filled. So Spinnaker cannot overwrite that. So it is a best practice to leave this place empty. And Spinnaker's job is to fulfill the place as per the value coming from the trigger. So we seen whole pipeline, we seen check-in happen and the deployment occur, and we seen the Spinnaker deploy pipeline. Now let's put everything together and see what happened. So first step, developer writes a code for a new feature or anything and makes it to a, a particular branch or maybe a temporary branch. And it does a commit, merge happens or PR happens that can goes to the GitHub. Now GitHub has a good feature where it can trigger a webhook on various events, a PR, a merge or a commit and many more. 
Now when the webhook triggers, we have configured a Jenkins job. Jenkins is a continuous integration system. So when the trigger happens from the webhook in the response to the GitHub event, Jenkins has a job which is pipeline. That pipeline triggers, compiles the code, makes a Docker image. Docker image is generated with a unique tag. And that tag being pushed to a Docker registry. In our repo, we are using AWS Elastic Container Registry, but it could be any Docker registry. Once there is a new tag in the Docker registry in AWS ECR, we would like the deployment to occur for that unique tag. And that was our actual use case, that we want to have a new image being generated on the push and get deployed. Now, so we configure Spinnaker pipeline. Spinnaker offers a pipeline mechanism where we can use a trigger for Docker registry. Whenever there is a new image being pushed to the registry, Spinnaker pipeline will start. We'll use Helm as a rendering template. Combine the artifacts with the override values.yaml file and create a deployable base64 encoded artifact. And we've seen already Spinnaker also has mechanism where we can do a manual judgment. And after the manual judgment, it can do a deployment on a particular environment. And as per that deployment, we are deploying a bake manifest using Helm and there is a Docker image. So the deployment occurs. So that basically concludes from check-in to deploy using the Spinnaker pipeline, using ECR, Jenkins, Webhook, GitHub, and Docker, and everything. Thank you for watching my presentation. If you have any question, please reach out to me. I will be happy to answer.